Hey everyone, Dakota Franson here, Specialist of the Strange. I just wanted to come with you real quick about potentially doing your own podcast. Have you ever wanted to start your own podcast? Maybe you got a lot of questions like, how do I record? How do I get my show into all these apps that are out there? How can I make money? There are probably several thousand, thousand, thousand other questions about getting this show off the ground that you have been formulating and communicating in your mind. And I'm here to tell you that there is a very simple answer to this. Anchor. Anchor is a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, distributing your show. And best of all, it is 100% free. Get all the perks from the other guys without having to pay for subscription fees. And best of all, it is easy. And in fact, Anchor can match you up with sponsors who want to advertise on your podcast right now. Which means you can get Paid doing what you love. Isn't that the fucking dream, my friends? In fact, that's actually what I'm trying to do right now. By reading this ad for you. It is amazing. It helps ease the process for guests. Putting on music. Whatever you want to do. So if you want to start your podcast. Make some money doing it. Go to Anchor.fm slash start to join me and several other fabulous people already using Anchor. That's Anchor.fm slash start. And I cannot wait to hear you on the air. Are you lost? Or are you looking for something? Walking around here, it's dangerous. It's not recommended for everybody. Kiddos can come along, but they're gonna only have more questions than answers. But that's part of this journey. Enter if you dare. My name is Dakota Franson, and this is Specialist of the Strange Radio Show, where we go into various topics of the unknown, and bring them to life, and maybe, just maybe, we'll discover something new along the way. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. You're not going to want to miss this. Hey y'all, Dakota here. Um, First off, I want to apologize for uh, not getting on here that much. Um... The uh, mess going on with uh, COVID-19. Fortunately, things are kind of slowing down a bit to where everybody, at least in my area, can start catching up. But uh, unfortunately, it also made it to where my hours at my day job have been shifted to late ass at night. So, uh, truth be told, I've been just a little too tired, and, uh, unfortunately, I also let myself indulge in mild gaming habits, because all my other fun jobs have been put on hold thanks to coronavirus. 
But I just wanted to get on here and let you all know everybody is okay. Uh, had a couple scares in my area. Some friends of mine started to uh, test positive for the symptoms and looks like we're everybody's bouncing back in that area. So, you know, trying to keep a positive thinking. Though, uh, this morning I <laughs> did have a kind of a brief scare with a possible drunk driver, so that kind of gave me a jump start, but nobody got hurt in that scenario, which I'm thankful for. You know, I wasn't guaranteed to get anybody in trouble. I just wanted to get somebody to at least check on them, make sure they were okay. There's uh, enough chaos, enough domestic violence going on because everybody's locked up with their abusers right now, so. There's that. But anyway, I just wanted to get on here and say that uh, I'm going to start pumping out more episodes. Obviously, starting with this. Brief little announcement. I also want to kind of go over some new stuff that's coming up. How uh, I'm going to make a couple of changes just to try to get a bit more engagement to the show. So, right now, on the schedule, we have this, starting from this coronavirus update, uh, we're going to... Dig into the Demonic Possession episode I keep teasing. And I may have had a possible new hit. But unfortunately, uh, the, these people are uh, becoming too reliant on the uh, basic methods of crystals and holy water. Which, uh, while yes, they do work on occasion, they're only good for uh, certain types of beings. And basically, uh, at most, it helps keep lower level demons away. It can act as a bit of a mosquito repellent for a few of the stronger ones out there, but... Uh, some of the real nasty types, the real borderline horror movie in action types. Essentially, uh, they're like trying to take down Godzilla with a BB gun. It just ain't gonna work out. What's up? Yeah. Sorry, I uh, keep forgetting to turn off my message tones. <coughs> Would you shut up? <laughs> you sound very unprofessional, I guess. <laughs> anyway, after the demonic possession episode, we're going to kind of shift away from that. And we're going to go into some of the coronavirus conspiracies out there because... Honestly, as more and more information gets released out from official authorities, some of the things being pushed out there by conspiracy circles, they uh starting to show some truth to them. So I wanted to do an episode where we talk a little bit about that. Then we're going to start shifting to uh, some cryptids. And first one we're going to take on is actually the Wendigo. Because there's some information out there th that uh, recently came to my attention that I thought should make for an interesting perspective on things. So that's the current lineup right now. If you have any sort of topics or uh, questions you have, that you want me to answer on this show, you can always feel free to get a hold of me through my various social media outlets. I do have a link in the description 
That is set up to take you to all of my major out pages. It also shows off my like a, a IMDb page. So in the event I'm able to land a couple more movies, you'll see that probably see them pop up there first. Oh, what else is there? What else is there? What else is there? Um, I'm sorry, I'm still a little tired. Also, uh, if you find my Reddit page, you can follow me on there. I'm posting kind of thought questions that I'm going to present with each episode. So, feel free to check that out. Feel free to participate. Uh, like I said, we can always use more people on here. It's not going to cost you anything. Maybe give you a little something to do during this quarantine. I don't know. And, uh... I'm also thinking that we're going to start doing uh, case study episodes. I know I've tried bringing it up before, but it didn't really stick. But... We're going to take cases from you, the viewers. And I'm going to analyze them here on the air. This might give a few of you ideas on uh, what to do if certain situations happen to you, who to look for in order to get some help if you need it, things like that. That's the main goal behind that. Oh, let's see. And uh, I'm trying to think, make sure I get everything off of my mind here. Oh, um, if you're looking for a new movie to watch during quarantine. You got yourself a Netflix subscription. It's been brought to my attention. One of my movies has uh, made it. Has Netflix has started streaming it here not too long ago. And it's actually been considered up in the top 10. Made it into the top 10 for the U.S., so... I'm really proud of that. The movie is called Code 8. It is kind of a superhero flick, but instead of having the heroes be billionaires uh, in position to where they have the resources at their disposal in order to create some sort of like superhero identity, it's a film that imagines what if superheroes were people that lived underneath the poverty line. What would people with abilities do if they were put into situations where they're not sure how the rent's going to be paid, how or where the next meal's coming from? It stars Arrow. It actually stars the Green Arrow himself, Stephen Amell, and his cousin Robbie uh, Han from the Fast and Furious franchise also plays a police officer in it, and it's actually a really good movie. It's a little bit slow compared to other projects, but that is kind of the idea behind it. It's supposed to try to show a bit more grounded, more somewhat more realistic scenario on how that type of world may manifest. So do check it out if you want to. To see a little something different, or if you wa- watched it already and like you liked it, watch it again. Let me know what you think. Uh, um, let me think. My friends over at Legion M have st- gone through round six of investments. So if you want to get in on the action there, all you have to do is uh, look them up. You can. The minimal investment offer is usually right around 100 bucks. So if you want to risk it so far, if you have, I know in times like this, it's not exactly, uh, how should I put it? Um, in times like this, a lot of us can't really afford to just toss our money anywhere, but... If you're able to, go ahead and give it a shot. There's probably going to be more investment rounds to turn up in the future. 
So far, this has actually been one of my more successful business opportunities. So, if you want in on the action, check it out. Uh, so, far, I think that's it, actually. So, I think that's it, actually. So, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. If you have any questions, comments, you want to chat, feel free to get a hold of me in the comments section. Find me on my website. DakotaFrancis.com. Check out my YouTube channel. I'm on Snapchat, Facebook, 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 Twitter, Instagram. Like I said, there's a link in the description that'll help you find me. You can check out some of my books. Uh, I've been contemplating putting out a sort of updated edition to my latest book release, which was titled Dear Coda, The Letters You Wish You Had. Those of you who wanted a more a uh, works that were actually based on my real experiences, uh, that's right now. That's your best opportunity to do so. An updated edition where it's going to go a, a bit more into the various incidents I kind of hinted at. If you happen to be a fan of the Fable games like I am, it's going to be a lot. Like uh, how Microsoft released Fable the Lost Chapters. <laughs> but like I said before when I first brought it out. It was a project that I planned on revisiting. As time went on. As it would grow and evolve. Just recently I celebrated my 9 year anniversary of coming public. So that, that's been interesting. So, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. I know you kind of ramble a bit, so I apologize about that. But I'm going to go ahead and let you go. Don't be afraid to give me a shout. You know, I like hearing from y'all. All I ask is that y'all be respectful, because some of you seem to have nothing more to do with your life than uh, try to stir up trouble to cover up your own insecurities about life. So, there's that. <laughs> Anyway, I'll uh, catch you all next time. I hope you all are staying safe. Wash your hands, all that. Even if you're participating in the protests, I understand, you know, y'all. everybody needs to get back to work, but what some of you are not realizing is that there's talk of this thing starting to make a comeback. So, we'll see. Stay safe out there, my friends, and, uh, I know this is probably the most any of us have ever spent time with our loved ones, but it's still not okay to kill them, even though you're not going to have anybody probably check on you for months on end. It's still not okay to kill your loved ones. Morbid joke there. I'm sorry. Anyway, I'm going. Bye-bye. I'll, I'll leave you alone. Okay, bye-bye.